Um, we then extended this to uh, cube roots with numbers. So, same idea, we're going to simplify first and then apply the roots. So, 24 divided by 3 is 8. Uh, x to the 10 divided by x to the 4, subtracting gives us x to the 6. And then the cube root of 8 is just 2. And 6 divided by 3 is 2, so 2x two squared. So, some questions are quite nice for this actually. Move this across to see we can see the next one. 54 divided by 2 is 27. We've got a power of 1 here, so 16 take away 1 gives us 15. Cube root of 27 is perfect, that's 3. And 15 divided by 3 gives us 5. And then we're finished with that question too. And we start to get a little more complicated. 32 divided by 2 is 16. 19 take away 3 here is going to give us 16. Um, 16 isn't the perfect cube, so I can split it up into 8 and 2, where the cube root of 8 is 2. 16 doesn't divide by 3, so 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. So 15 and 1 will give us 16, and the advantage of doing that is the cube root of x to the 15. 15 divided by 3 is x to the 5. Using the commutative rule, I bring the ones that I worked out first to the front, and then anything that didn't work out, I can combine into a single radical. And I could put the power of 1 there if I really wanted to. Let's look at our last one. So 160 divided by 2 is 80. x to the 10 divided by x to the 2 is x to the 8, because we're subtracting the exponents here. Uh, 80 isn't a perfect cube, so I can split it up as 8 times 10, because the cube root of 8 is 2. Uh, 8 doesn't divide by 3 either, so 3, 6, 9 would be too far. 6 add 2 gives us our 8. But we can simplify this now because 6 divided by 3 is 2. So 2x squared, and then the ones that don't work are 10x squared. So I can put those to the end of the question. Now, after we went over those, we spent a little time with a few additional questions to practice. So the answers to these ones, same idea. 32 divided by 4 is 8. x to the 12 divided by x to the 3, subtract the exponents, gives us 9. And then the cube root of 8 is 2. Q root of x to the 9 is x to the 3, because 9 divided by 3 is 3. 135 divided by 5 is 27. x to the 10 divided by x to the 1 is x to the 9. Q root of 27 is 3, and the cube root of x to the 9 is x to the 3, because 9 divided by 3 is also 3. Then we get to the more complicated ones. 240 divided by 10 is 24 x to the 13 divided by x to the 3 is x to the 10, subtracting the exponents. 24 we can break up as 8 and 3, because the cube root of 8 is 2. x to the 10 doesn't work perfectly, so, oops, there's a mistake here, that's supposed to say x to the 9. So 3, 6, 9, and then 9 plus 1 gives us our 10. And then the cube root of x to the 9 is x to the 3. And then once again we reordered at the end of the question. And to finish with, 500 divided by 2 is 250. x to the 14 divided by x to the 6, subtracting gives us x to the 8. y squared, take away negative 4, so 2 take away negative 4 is to the power of 6. There is no other term except for z squared, so that can stay on the top. 250, we can write as 150 times 2. x to the 8, count up in 3's, 3, 6. So 6 plus 2 gives us our 8. 6 does divide by 3, so that's 2. And at the end here, we've got the cube root of z squared. Now we can do a few more workings out. Cube root of 125 is 5. x to the 6 divided by the cube root of that. 6 divided by 3 is 2. And that's all we can work out now. So we reorder this, the ones that we can work out. And then the ones that we can't work out, we compose as a single radical. So same idea as we just did, but you've got to make sure you check carefully if we're using square roots or cube roots.